Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Aliens and UFOs Encounters video. Once again, I'm featuring another creepy and almost scary encounter from the reddit.com website there from the subreddit experiencers. This is again the subreddit that is kind of there in the middle between either being aliens, UFO stuff, or something else, some other forms of entities, something that is entering people's minds during a specific state of mind. But this one comes from a user by the name of The Woven Way, and in their case, their house literally shook during the entire encounter. That's how bad it got. And still to this day, they don't know if it's 100% real or if it was something else that was happening. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's share this encounter here. And then once again, I'll give my own thoughts and opinions on it. This is one of the few, for, by the way, from the experiencers subreddit where I think it leans more towards the alien side. But that's just my opinion. You'll know more in a minute. So here's what it says. Okay. So I'm so effing stoked to have discovered this sub. I've got a blank ton of stories for y'all, but I'll start with this one. One time in my early 20s, I was asleep, dreaming that I'd just eaten a hit of acid with my friend Megan. In the dream, we got in a cab and were riding along until the dream environment totally melted away and we were now laying in my bed. Everything was crystal clear and totally as it truly is in reality. My bedroom door was catty corner to my bed and just outside of it was a staircase. Through my cracked door I could see floating in the middle of the hall this ball of translucent TV static. My right ear was flooded with radio frequencies and static like someone was flipping through an old tuner. Then I hear rummaging upstairs and then footsteps coming down. Megan to my left starts panicking, whispering, oh my god, they're coming, they're coming. And so I told her to shush and pretend that she's sleeping. So I closed my eyes and heard my door creak open. I could hear and feel two beings approach my bed. I peeked through the slits of my eyes to see two gray-skinned anthropomorphic figures with giant heads and dark eyes tower over me. I wasn't afraid, mostly just kind of in shock and curious. I did not believe in aliens at all at that time, mind you. Anyways, I could feel Megan shaking next to me, so I started saying Jesus in my brain to try and make them go away, and I could feel them telepathically listening. They looked at each other and then walked out of my room. It was silent for a moment. And gradually, all the radio sounds started coming back along with glass shattering and things breaking around my house. The volume got turned up to a 10, and so my whole house started to shake and rumble, as if it was being picked up by its very foundation. It was so intense, truly a mayday moment. And so I jerked awake, sat straight up, and my adrenaline was pumping harder than I've ever felt in my life. I frantically patted the bed next to me for Megan, but she wasn't there. My ears were ringing super hard, still reacting to the noise. I didn't sleep a wink after that. The message it left to me was, your entire foundation is about to get rocked, and boy, the F did it happen. I say awake in quotes because it truly did not feel like I was asleep. I can tell the difference between dreaming, like in the first half of my story, versus a lucid experience in the in-between. With wild, y'all, absolutely wild. And then that's it. That's everything that the user mentioned within their encounter. Again, the user being the woven way, so let's talk about that here. By the way, that very last sentence, again, makes me lean towards something else happening, like real, like it could be an alien encounter, because they stated that they knew what was the difference between dreaming and being lucid, and they even subtitled theirs or subcategoried their Reddit as being a lucid experience. So according to them, they were sober, like they didn't have anything happening within their mind, but ironically, it was really weird. It was almost as if once they went to sleep, they went into the same type of, I don't know, atmosphere or some other type of experience as if, as they mentioned earlier, they had eaten a hit of acid. Remember, he had not. He had not done so, at least on his part, what he's claiming. He was sober. He didn't have acid. He didn't have anything else. No drinks, nothing. But in his weird dreamlike state, it was almost as if he had. And then once that happened, that's when all of a sudden... He was there in his bedroom, and then he had his friend Megan next to him, 
and then all of a sudden they could hear, well actually it started with a translucent TV-like static, like there was almost like this ball floating in the middle of the air. What was that? What do you guys think? Was it something, some, some weird type of technology from the UFO that the aliens had? And then they were rummaging upstairs through something, which is very creepy when you think about it, because that's almost like a very human experience, but it's happening obviously by something out of this world. And then you hear them coming downstairs, almost like a horror movie right there. And so they pretend to go to sleep, they open their eyes, and then that's when he sees these two. And this is why, again, I think it's more along the alien side. They were gray-skinned anthropomorphic figures with giant heads and dark eyes. I mean, what else could those be? Those could be nothing else but grays, the infamous grays that we've all seen and talked about within multiple parts of my channel, and of course you've seen it elsewhere as well. And then finally, when he said the word Jesus, the place started to, uh, the aliens looked at each other and then left. Who knows what cause and effect that had. But then also the house, the very, very house started to go to a level 10. So did the house shake? What do you guys think? Because he was stating that it was almost like it was shaking and rumbling as if it was picked up by its own foundation. I don't know. I think it could have happened, at least something, but the physical evidence was not really there. But he did have physical evidence on his own body. Like, for example, his ears. His ears, he was stating that there was this noise, some kind of radio sound, some volume or something on his ears that went up to a very powerful level. And when he woke up, his ears were still ringing very, very hard to that noise. So what could that have been, right? So something is, it's almost like it's check and balance. There's a lot of things happening. Something could have occurred. Something could have not occurred. But either way, though, that's their experience. And that's what they're stating here. And again, they were sober. That's the most important thing of it all. I'm wondering what they're going to say about other stories. They've mentioned at the beginning they have a blank ton of stories. So if they do, I'm going to see if I can post them here. But let me know what you guys and gals think. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.